As Australia's population continues to age, the conversation surrounding aged care funding has intensified. With the impending rise in the number of retirees accessing their superannuation, there's a growing consensus that wealthier Australians should bear a larger burden in financing aged care services. This shift in focus towards means testing could mark a significant step in ensuring equitable access to quality care for older Australians. The concept of means testing in aged care revolves around the idea of assessing an individual's financial capacity to contribute towards their care expenses. Traditionally, the cost of aged care has been subsidised by the government, with contribution from individuals based on their income and assets. However, as the demographic landscape evolves, there is a pressing need to reassess the sustainability and fairness of the current funding model. One of the main reasons driving this call for change is the projected increase in the wealth of Australians due to the superannuation system. Superannuation has accumulated significant value over the years for many Australians. As retirees begin to access their super funds, there is a corresponding rise in personal wealth with the ageing population. Critics of means testing often raise concerns about its potential impact on middle income earners who have worked hard to accumulate assets throughout their lives. They argue that imposing additional financial burdens on this demographic could undermine the incentive to save and invest for retirement, potentially exacerbating the issue. However, proponents of means testing argue that the current system disproportionately benefits wealthier individuals who can afford to pay for their care without relying heavily on government subsidies. This is an issue sure to bring about divided opinion, so please leave your thoughts in the comment section below.